Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Hey there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and today is a very special day. And I am making this video because it is the 20th anniversary of SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, it's been 20 years. The pilot episode premiered on May 1st, 1999, and as of May 1st, 2019, it is 20 years old now, and it's insane to even think about that. SpongeBob, you all know at this point, there's a reason I did SpongeBob reviews for a majority of this channel, because I love the show so much that I just had the urge at that time to talk about, uh, really review as many episodes as I could. So, for this 20th anniversary, um, you could say special video, I'm going to show you Spongebob related stuff that I have. Yes, that even includes the two, funny enough, you see behind me. Um, you know, even though you already see them clearly, I'll still give you a nice closer peek of it. Uh, and yeah, I did a lot of digging through. I dug through some stuff in my room, some stuff from the kitchen, one particular item from the bathroom. And on our sponge of being 20 years old, I figured maybe it'd be the perfect time to show you what kind of stuff I have. And this video is also dedicated to Steven Hillenburg, the creator of the show, because sadly he did pass away last year, um, you know, in November. You know, just to tell you guys all my thoughts on Steven Hellberg passing away last year. Uh, I actually did legit cry. Um, I got very emotional. It actually hit me harder than I thought, uh, to be honest. And yeah, it's really sad, but I'm forever grateful that the guy has created just such um, um, a cartoon. A cartoon that has been a part of my entire life, not just my childhood, my entire life. And I'm forever grateful for him for bringing the imagination, the creativity, these beloved characters, the world of Bikini Bottom. Um, there's no other, you know, world I'd rather immerse myself in more than Bikini Bottom. It's all thanks to the great mind of Steven Hillenburg. What the man has created truly is an achievement. It's an accomplishment. Um, it is, you know, a phenomenon. Definitely Nickelodeon's baby. Almost every network normally has that one baby for them. And SpongeBob is Nickelodeon's baby, really. Um, so, yeah, rest in peace to Steven Hillenburg. You know, God bless him. Um, he will truly be missed. And so, yeah, the special will also be dedicated in his honor. All right, so of course, before I do show you what that big SpongeBob pile is, of course, I'm gonna start off by showing you the poster I have for the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. I have had this poster uh, as I am filming this uh, video, of course, for four years, which is crazy. I love this poster. This poster was actually given to me by one of my awesome YouTube friends, Movie Man Chad. And the fact that he went out of his way to send me this poster is something I'll always be um, very grateful for. And we actually did even collab on this channel uh, to review Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Uh, that was a very fun review to do. But yeah, Movie Man Chad, uh, I don't know if you're watching this video, but if you are, yeah, you're the man, dude. Uh, thank you again for this poster. And then, I really have to back up for this one. <clears throat> this is, um, for those that don't know, you've seen this in my background and many of the past SpongeBob reviews, but this is a blanket given to me by my parents. There's gonna be some items you'll notice, by the way, where I don't really particularly use them, and it's because they're items I wanna cherish, and the blanket is something I don't really wanna use. I wanna cherish it as something that just means a lot to me, because like I said, uh, my par both my parents uh, got me this, and uh, yeah, it's something that I just cherish a lot. So, yep, the entire SpongeBob blanket. Now, we're gonna get to the good stuff. Okay, of course, you all know the cap. The cap that I wear and my SpongeBob reviews. 
Uh, I forgot what store it was. I think it was Walmart when I found this cap. Um, as soon as I saw this cap, I knew that I wanted it. And uh, this is still honestly, you know, because I'm a SpongeBob fan, I have to say it. But it is my favorite cap still, just ever. I love wearing this cap in my reviews. And then speaking of hats, it's the SpongeBob Christmas hat, actually. Uh, Let's see. You know what? Let me remove the shirt very quick. Okay. And yeah, just to give you a nice, better look. This is a SpongeBob Christmas hat. My mom got this um, for me for Christmas. I think it's been like five years now that she got me this. And now I make it a tradition every Christmas to wear this hat now. So yeah, I always love wearing this um, around the Christmas time. And you have seen me uh, use this for a couple of the Christmas reviews. And whenever I get around to reviewing that Goon on the Moon special, I, w I will wear this, trust me. Like, regardless if you consider it a holiday special or not, and I'll get into that whenever I review that episode, but I will still uh, wear this one regardless. Now, the shirt. My cousin, one of my cousins, surprising with the shirt um, when the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water came out. Uh, and it's a really cool shirt. I love this shirt, you know, it's just SpongeBob's face all around. Sorry if I don't give you the, uh, if you can't see like all the shirt because of like how folded it, uh, it is, but yeah, here you go. Just to give you like, I guess a better point of view of it. Yeah, it's a really cool shirt. And now that we're going on the topic of Sponge Off, Sponge Out of Water, another one of my cousins uh, got me this uh, when the movie was coming out, and I really like it. It's called the Mega Blocks, and I think they look really cool personally. Um, not, I don't, I'm not going to open it up, though, because it's like what I said about the blanket, and I am going to say the same for some of the others I showed you. It's just really something I more just want to just cherish. Next one up I have are both... The movies. Here is the Sponge of Squarepants movie. I've had this since, you know, the DVD of this movie came out. I believe it was, wasn't that the 1st of March or the 2nd of March when the DVD came out? I'd like to get the Blu-ray eventually, though. I think having a Blu-ray would be cool and it would make more sense considering, you know, the other movie I'm going to show. But yeah, I have the DVD. And of course, speaking of the Blu-ray, this is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Still to this day, my favorite Blu-ray release ever. Uh, I just, I haven't seen a Blu-ray that looks quite like this. It's it's just so cool. Next one up I have is the, um, the picture frames. And I did have a few pictures in here, but you know, obviously I took them off just to like give you a nice closer look. But yeah, this is where I could put picture frames in it and I really like it. Next one up we have here, you know, it's SpongeBob on top of the treasure chest, arg. Um, not really much inside it, um, but we can look inside if you're really curious. Um, I have a ticket for Amazing Spider-Man, the first one. I still have that, uh, so that's pretty interesting. Next one up here, you know, we have where it holds all of my stuff right here. I don't know if that's necessarily exciting or anything, but, you know, because it's SpongeBob, it is pretty exciting to me. All right, next one up. I actually have a lot of the old SpongeBob games. So let me go ahead and get this. Okay, open this up. All right. Um, so I don't have the, you know, boxes for these two games I'm about to show you, but I have the discs at least. So I think that's actually really cool. So inside, I actually have the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, the video game, of course, for the PS2, and Creature from the Krusty Krab, also for the PS2. All right, next one up is one of the weakest SpongeBob video games, in my opinion, Atlantis SquarePants. It's not the worst one. I'll get to that in a little bit, but... um. Yeah, this game was not very good in my opinion, but 
I still have it for the PS2, and you know, even if I didn't like the game and all, the fact that I do still have it at least is cool, just because it does bring back some pretty cool memories of when I used to play it, so Atlantis Square Pants. Next one up here we have is SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants, easily one of the best SpongeBob games um, ever in my opinion. Like this is probably like top three SpongeBob video games for me. I was obsessed playing this. This is still one of the best multiplayer games I ever played. It might even be my favorite, if I have to be honest. Like if we're talking video games where you could go up to four players and all that. This probably is actually my favorite, to be honest. I was obsessed playing it, especially, you know, with like with my brother or my cousins or just anything like that or my friends. Uh, yeah, we would just all have a blast playing this. So this game brings back a lot of really, really great memories. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, I don't know if any of y'all remember me reviewing this game, but yeah, I think it's terrible. Um, I think my rating for this has honestly lowered. I gave it a 3.8 out of 10 uh, when I reviewed it. Um, I'd probably say I'm more of a 2.5 now, to be honest. Like the positives that I mentioned in my review, you know, they're still there. But man, I already hated it, but like over the years, the more I thought about this movie and the more, not movie, sorry, video game, the more I thought about this video game um, and the more I would see it, you know, whenever I go through very quickly, you know, my PS3, PS4 collection right here, um, the, the worst it just got for me. So yeah, this is easily the worst SpongeBob game I've ever played. <sighs> I... I still have it because, you know, I'm a loyal Spongebob fan, you know, I'm Spongebob all the way. I think that's why I never got rid of it or anything like that, but yeah, it's a shame. And this one, I did not expect to still have this. I have Spongebob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Did not expect to still have this. Um, unfortunately, I never played this game all the way through that's why in the past I never reviewed it for my channel because I never finished this game and the reason for that is because the game was scratched up I remember I went to GameStop this was the last I'm not kidding you I remember this this was the last copy of the game they had when I went to GameStop and um, you know I was really excited because like okay this is finally my chance to play it and I was probably like maybe four or five levels into the game but the problem is that the game froze and when I you know tried again tried again um, and try to fix the disc and all that it just keep freezing like after like the fourth or fifth level it would just keep freezing and it just disappointed me that I never finished it um, so yeah and yeah and this has a blue disc in the back but I can tell you from what I played I've had fun with it but it's just too bad that I'm most likely never gonna finish it Next one up is the Spongebob stuffed animal right here. I don't know if you could get like a really good look. I place it right here. Um, but yeah, my family from Colorado got me this and uh, I really like it. Obviously, let's see, there's Spongebob in his pirate uniform, but you know, if I could, um, you know, he could also be in his square pants too. Uh, it was a birthday present from them, I think in like, what, 2013? But yeah, I love this uh, stuffed animal, it's really cool. It, it might be a little creepy if you stare too long at it, but yeah, I still really like it nonetheless. Next one I have here is the SpongeBob inflatable. Um, well, at least when it used to inflate because it popped, so I can't necessarily inflate anymore, but you know, I still have it because SpongeBob. Now, referring to when I said digging up the bathroom, and I didn't really technically dig it, dig it because it is in the bathroom, but it's this right here. And as you can see closely, it does hold the toothbrush. There's a picture of Patrick there. Really like this. There used to be a red cup with like SpongeBob and Gary on it, but I don't know what happened to that. But yeah, um, I do, fun fact, keep this in the bathroom. And whenever I walk into the bathroom, I, I'm just like, hey, SpongeBob, how you doing, man? 
How are them carrot pies going? Next one up I have here is the SpongeBob pillowcase. Um, let me see if I could go ahead. It's a pretty big pillowcase, similar to like some of the other stuff. It's not something I want to use because it's just very special to me. My cousin got me this for Christmas a few years ago. She actually made this pillow, um, which means a lot to me, but yeah here is this entire pillowcase right here i am sorry it's not the best of view of it because of the lighting unless i maybe turn off the light very quick hold on let me see all right yeah i don't know if that's any better but just to give you that view yeah that is the spongebob pillowcase i didn't even realize it but i still have the um, valentine box like not the valentine cards themselves obviously i give them away to friends in high school and all that but i still have the box um somehow i think i kept it because of you know spongebob and all that but yeah i still have this still pretty cool that i have it and of course speaking of spongebob stuff that i don't really want to open or use it is the spongebob super kite this one was given to me by my dad um i think it was around my birthday if not i think i think it was like maybe a few weeks before my birthday he just went to um a store i think it was like walmart or something and he surprised me with this all right next up next one up we got them toys them spongebob toys because obviously you know one of the things of being the fans is having the toys in the past we got this um what the heck okay we got this Pest of the West Spongebob toy. I love this. Look at Spongebob with his spurs and that cowboy hat and that outfit. And look at that face. That's the face of a spongy man right there. But yeah, I do have that. I have this um, water thing with Spongebob. Uh, I really like that one. And obviously, there's Gary 2 here. Really like that one. And then this one I remember um, I got when... I went to my friends like what was it i think it was like his eighth ninth or tenth birthday at chuck e cheese and they're all hanging out these these mini spongebob figurines so i got that the nose the nose as you can see is no longer there but everything else is there and then i believe i got these at peter piper pizza you know in that ticket booth and all that but i got these two little spongebob toys right here you know like there's Spongebob meditating right there. Look at him. He's at peace. And then, um, just to give you a better look at this one, this is supposed to be when, uh, obviously, Spongebob ripped his pants. I don't know if you could see, like, um, his ripped pants a little bit there. But, uh, yeah, there's the ripped pants Spongebob one. Next one up I have here is the Spongebob cup. I got this at Universal. Oh, shoot. I got this at Universal Studios. Very cool. Really like this cup a lot. And then next up here, I have the Spongebob mug because, of course, to enjoy hot chocolate or coffee or really anything I could drink out of this eggnog. Shoot, for all I know. Um, yeah, I have the Spongebob mug right here. Really cool. And then, of course... It's not complete until I have the Spongebob plate because I gotta have that plate. This is definitely uh, my favorite plate to use. I mean, no question there. And then let's see, I have the Spongebob comics. I still need to get the other comics. I know I said in a live stream in the past that I would try to get more of the comics. I still have not done that, but I definitely do want to eventually get more of the comics because I've really loved reading this comic right here to be honest okay it's now fo all focused now but yeah there's a comic i think it's pretty cool the little what they call the cine manga it's tales from bikini bottom really enjoyed reading this and you know back when nickelodeon used to have those magazines i even do still have the uh, nickelodeon all comics issue which i did actually think was very cool and then right here um, I have the mask which I wore uh, when I dressed up as Spongebob Squarepants for Halloween. That was a lot of fun just a few years ago. I'm pretty sure I'm going to show a picture up uh, in the editing room and all that. But yeah, it was a lot of fun dressing up as Spongebob. Okay, so before I get to that pile, of course. Now this one broke 
because I've had this for many years and you know the globe just broke but this was a globe and Spongebob's nose broke the funny thing is I could still you know tune it like you could still hear music so even if it's not the globe it once was when I got it you know you could still at least even hear the music in fact just for you all let me go ahead and do that And alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now that I've basically gone around a whole circle of showing you all of this spongy goodness, now I have a couple of, you know, complete sets, really this one in particular. But it's like a lot of the DVDs I used to get. I know for the US, they don't really do them anymore. But this is back when I used to go my way to buy these SpongeBob. Uh, DVDs. I do want to get the complete ninth season uh, because I know that's been out so I might have to just stick with buying like complete seasons now but you know since I am pointing at it first I do have the complete eighth season of Spongebob Squarepants and then I have season four volume two and I'll never forget how exciting this day was because for Disc one, there's two, uh, there's two discs in this thing. For disc one, you know, it was a lot of the episodes I've already seen, but disc two in particular actually had a lot of new episodes that Nickelodeon didn't air yet. So I'll never forget when I spent an entire, like, what was it, Saturday night, just binge watching the all the new episodes of SpongeBob from disc two of this. Um, because at that time Nickelodeon had never aired the episodes until later on so that was exciting as far as the other DVDs I'm gonna go through them very quickly I have Lost in Time, Atlantis for Pantis, Naughty Knuckle Nonsense and Sponge Buddies, SpongeBob Goes Prehistoric, Karate Island, Tide and Seek, Halloween, Legends of Bikini Bottom, Truth or Square, The Great Patty Caper, Runaway Road Trip, Viking Size Adventure, SpongeBob Last Stand, Heroes of Bikini Bottom, Ooh. Friend or Foe, Who Bob What Pants, it's a Spongebob Christmas, the Seascape Capers, Spongekiss, Pest of the West, and I must say, this is like one of the most creative DVDs I've seen. I just like how they did this whole thing, just wanted to say that very quick. Uh, Lost at Sea, oh, come on, Where's Gary, To Love a Patty, Sea Stories, Tales from the Deep, Sponge for Hire, Christmas, we're almost there, SpongeBob vs. the Big One with uh, Giant Dev guest starring, anyone remember that? Whale of a Birthday, The Candy Bottom Adventures, and Fear of a Krusty Krab. Oh boy, so those are all of the Spongebob merchandise I was able to find and celebration of Spongebob's 20th anniversary. Holy crap. And before I close this. Okay, so uh, my HD camera cut off on me because, you know, my card is full now, so I have to clear some space. So I'm recording the rest of this video for my Samsung phone, but I just want to say thank you to everyone that watched this video. It was a lot of fun doing this, and once again, rest in peace to Steven Hillenburg. I really cannot stress how much I'm going to miss that guy and everything that he has left behind. He truly has created such a legacy for this cartoon, and I'm always going to be grateful for that. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. I figured I'd do something special, something different. Uh, because the cartoon turned 20 years old, I 
would honestly regret not doing something to celebrate its 20th anniversary. So yeah, thank you to all of you once again. Comment below and let me know if you have any special memories of Spongebob. What's your favorite episode? Anything Spongebob related that you want to share with me? Do you have some of the merchandise that I have? Or do you have merchandise that's different? Um, let me know whatever you want regarding Spongebob in the comments down below. So of course you guys, once again, thank you for watching. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! SpongeBob SquarePants! Happy 20th anniversary, Sponge.